Hello, good afternoon class. How are you today? So I hope that you are fine, you are safe, and you are fully vaccinated. So are you excited class to have a limited face-to-face -face next sem? So I hope that uh, the university or the shed can push through this limited face-to-face -face class for the next sem. So I hope to See you all. I, I hope that you will all be excited about that. And I hope that you are already fully vaccinated. Okay, so I encourage you that you should get a shot and then um, just uh, stay safe at home and continue to do your um, academic requirements. Okay, so be inspired every day to uh, do it, accomplish it because you are there in order, you are in the mood uh, you are um, studying because um, uh, you have a future to fulfill and you have a purpose to do okay so that's one of the encouragement that i want to share it with you but um before i proceed for today's discussion i will now um uh, i will first ask you about this one but something personal okay so uh the question is what are you into so uh what does it mean so under your mom what are you into so what is your um what interests you nowadays what are what are the things that you are most interested and um what are the new things that you discovered on the internet online and what skills are you practicing right now uh, in the midst of this um fulfilling the academic requirements i know that you have a pastime there of course so um you should have to answer this in the vsue i will put a block there what are you into okay and then you can i uh, just um briefly explain why uh you are really interested in a hobby in the kind of um uh game or something sports yeah so that's what i want to know right now okay thank you so much for cooperating class and I expect you to um do it and to uh, to put your answers in the vsuee okay thank you so much okay let us now proceed okay in this inbt152 laboratory so the exercise five is entitled Filter paper impregnation method for testing the toxicity of insecticides. Okay, so as an introduction, okay, we all know that um, there are the problems in agriculture nowadays is the man, but is the infestation of many pests. Okay, so we have to um, have a pest control. So how do we define pest control okay pest control is any of a wide range of environmental interventions so these are interventions to decrease the acceptable levels of insect pest plant pathogens and weed populations so these are environmental interventions in a wide range scope okay so in order to decrease two acceptable levels of insect pests in order that your plants or yeah for, for your plants will not be um totally destroyed and your products or crops will have um will not uh put into waste because they are eaten by the pest okay so pest control is an in agricultural crops is generally achieved by chemical pesticides which are effective and have a knockdown effect on life stages of insects and mites okay so mostly these are chemical pesticides that um are synthetically produced okay so specific control techniques consist of chemical physical rather and biological mechanisms so the chemical agents called pesticides include herbicides, insecticides, and fungicides. And um, 
Most of the insecticides nowadays are applied as long-lasting synthetic com compounds to affect the nervous system of insects on conduct. So generally, how does the insecticide uh, can kill the insects so it affects the nervous system of the insects? That is why they are killed and they are eradicated. Okay. One of the classes of synthetic compounds of insecticides is pyrethroids. Okay. So uh, the two kinds of, there are many kinds of pyrethroids, there are many chemicals that belong to pyrethroids, and these are the Espen valerate and the lambda cyhalophene. So these are the examples of pyrethroids. So um, these pesticides, or these insecticides rather are uh, used will be used here in our exercise so in this exercise spinvalerate and lambda cyhalophene will be tested for their toxicity in sweet potato weevil using filter paper pregnant ah impregnation not <laughs> pregnation it's impregnation rather okay so um Actually, class based exercises, meron na ditong assumed na data actually that I will be given to you. It's just you have to provide a discussion, the mechanism of these insecticides, and then you have to provide analysis also of the given results. Okay, so these are the these are really real results that have been gathered. So it as it was our result from 2013. Actually, it was in our experiment so that's it okay okay this is the picture of the espen valerate and then the lambda cyhalophrine okay so i will not dwell i will not dig deeper in that aspect in this insecticide because you will be the one will provide the in-depth discussion about insecticides in your lab report okay so i'm just giving you a, a hint that you have to discuss these um respective insecticides that i'm talking about okay so so the objectives okay the objectives in your report so you must be able to test the toxicity of espenvalerate and lambda cyhalophrine using filter paper information to sweet potato Weevil. Okay, so how do we do that? So these are this is the method, or this is this slide uh, consists of the materials and methods. We have a spin valerate, the cyhalophrine, the sweet potato weevil, pheromone, the filter papers, the pizza dishes, the beakers, the water, and the graduated cylinder. So for the um, method class, so this is the uh method okay so you have to gather about 200 sweet potato weevils from the sweet potato plantation using sweet potato weevil pheromone now um uh you're wondering how does it work okay how we should conduct it so actually you have to go to the field of sweet, in the sweet potato uh field like, where the sweet sweet potato weevils are there in testing the sweet potato okay sweet potatoes whatever so you have to uh using the sweet potato weevil pheromone which was developed by uh, dr erlinda vacus in the field crops with the famous um, scientist this she's a known scientist because um she's one of the professors actually she's the one handling this um inbt152 for the last uh, how many years so um we were lucky and we we are so blessed that uh she was our professor at that time so she was really good and she is really a good um um a scientist okay so she developed the sweet potato weevil pheromone okay so you have to gather so you go to the field and then using the sweet potato weevil pheromone it attracts the um male 
male um, sweet potato weevil. So these are pheromone, but my pheromone style that attracts on something. If you are a male, yeah, you will be yeah, you will attract another female, and if you are female, you will attract. So these are pheromones, hormones that have interplace with um, the law of attraction. So in this sweet potato, so these are it attracts the male uh, sweet potato weevil. So we just have mama ya, I ipapakita ko sa inyo yung video. How does it um, work or how is it conducted? Okay. So um, andito na tayo. So basically. So, we have to gather about 200 sweet potato weevils because manuol man at sila class sa sweet potato weevil pheromones parang naman siya tubig actually. Balang mong butangan ang powder ang tubig sa pagkahuman kay manuol na sila ang mga sweet potato, the male sweet potato weevil. O niya, pagkahuman, you just have to gather 200 sweet potato weevils. And then, you have to prepare the concentrations for the each insecticide so these are um, uh, the full concentrated rr the three fourth rr the one half rr and the one fourth rr so mommy i will just um, give you a uh, what's the art it's the concentration actually so next naman with that um the percentage actually you can just have prepare uh, in by percentage okay so you have to impregnate the filter paper with the line signated inside the petri dishes, petri dishes with 1 ml each test solution. Okay, so, um, diba? so my material kayo na um, petri dish and then filter paper. So, uh, with that concentration class, so with that, you know, one play class. There is you have to label the plate. Now, ito ay RR, three fourth RR, one half RR. So each plate, so each in, insecticide, okay, na siya upat ka plate niya, and three replicates. So, upat, four times three, twelve. So twelve sa whole siya nga sa ka insecticide. Okay? So you have to impregnate the filter papers with the line designated inside the petri dishes. So you have to uh, drop a um, 1 ml of test solution of insecticides inside the petri dish. Okay? So, imbro na siya, i, i drop na siya, place, impregnate. Okay? And then, after you have uh, to um, to allow it to dry, actually, you have to allow to dry the insecticide. Okay, in the filter paper. Then after that, after allowing it to dry, you have to place 20 adult sweet potato weevils who are introduced to each treated petri dish, petri dishes with the insecticides. Okay, so as you can imagine, class, ang petri place, butangan ang bainti kabok sweet potato weevils. Okay, imagine na ni class, ha? Okay, and then, you have to do it in three replicates. Mo itong akong giingon class nga. 4 man siya ka concentrations times 3 replicates. So, 12 na siya per insecticide. So, okay. Now, may do ha, taka insecticide. So, ang magabit na to, ano nga, nga uh, petri plates, kay 12 times 2 is equals to 24. Okay? Mga na siya ang koan, bali mo rag um, practicality nga. May imagine mo na amoy 24 ka petri plates in inyo observaran. Okay, you maintain the petri dishes at room temperature, then allow it to dry. Okay, and then determine the mortality after 24, 48, and 72 hours. So, in yun siyang balik balikon class after 24 hours, after 48 hours, or ano, uh, two days, then pagka third day na po. So, okay. So, man siya ang determine the mortality in each concentration, each petri plates. Yun. Inyo gina siya ihapon. So, inyo gina siyang galaw-galawon ang sweet potato weevil. Okay? So, ang naka uh, kwan na na class, kaya there are sweet potato weevils. Just, they are just weak. Na how do you, uh, will you determine na dead na good sila. So, imog siyang galawon. You have to use the scalpel actually. In order for that na 
I mean the forcep, not scalpel. The forcep, you know, just touch the sweet potato weevil. Kung wala ba siya naglihok-lihok yung mga appendages. Kana siya. So, after that, okay, after 24 hours, 48 and 72 hours. Okay? Kauman, after that, you have gathered your um, data. You have to compute the percentage mortality and the LC lethal concentration 50 of the uh, eight of each insecticide. Okay, mamaya class, I will um, I will uh, send to you and how to compute this LC 50. But for the comp computation, the percentage mortality. Now, for in each um, or actually in each um, time, for example, 24 hours, you have out of the 20 sweet potato weevil inside the petri dish, okay, for example, one lang siya, nga na, sa petri dish, this is just an example class, okay, for example, no, is after 24 hours na ane usa, na namatay, nga na, so, yun nga, mortality, uh, percentage mortality, mini ang percento sa namatay ng mga sweet potato weevil. Okay, so ima siyang i-compute class, one, one ang dead over 20 sweet potato weevil times 100. Okay, yung wala siya ha? One times over 20 sweet potato weevil times 100. So, pila man siya class? Itong compute ko ha? Wait lang. So, mag- 1 over 20 times 100. So, there is a 5% um, uh, mortality in that 24 hours. So, so for 8 hours, ganun din ang iyong, inyong gagawin. You have to compute the percentage mortality. You have to plot it in, actually, you have to plot talaga also the graph. Ang iyong percentage mortality, 24, 48 to 72 hours, so that you will know the trend, okay? And then after computation of percentage mortality, you have to compare the toxicity of the two insecticides in the sweet potato weevil. So, as ang mas effective. So, uh, in, in terms of percentage mortality, so, which is more effective, the esfenval rate or the um, say the halo stream. So that's how you will um, discuss your result. Okay, so my computation more and then also my LCCC concentration, also my determination, and then the comparison of the uh, effectivity of toxicity on the uh, of the insecticides on the potato in there. Okay, so get in Benin class. So I will now proceed. Okay, so these, these, these are the data. This is the same data to be analyzed and discussed. Okay, so as you can see here, class, so sa amo sa pag um, get the results ani, pag gather the results ani, rather, kaya di ba? Number of hours 24, 48, 72. Unya, bahaman ka you have this concentration. RR. Um, the uh, you have three replicates. This is for the esfin valerate pesticide, insecticide. Okay, you have three replicates in each um, concentration. So a total of 12, right? So, um, so nasi category. So these are the dead. The weak and alive. So, kaling mga dead, kaya wala nyo siya, dinagyo din mo siya, wala nyo siya yung lihok after uh, sa yung pagsigi touch sa uh, sweet potato weevil. While, while the weak ones are the yung slow na lang ang ila motion sa um, sweet potato weevil. While the alive, the alive sweet potato weevil, so they are still um, active. They are still, uh, the appendages are still moving, okay? So, that's how you categorize it, the dead, the weak, and alive. And so, after 48 hours, kanya na lang siya, pila na lang, and then, sub 72 hours, yan. So, mali siya ang imong, inyong data to be analyzed. You have to compute for the percentage mortality. So, kung yung percentage mortality, 
teenage mortality is kina ang imo computer lang kay ang dead na mga sweet potato weevils kani siya kani sana so i average na lang ninyo class ha so kay replicates man so inyo ina siya i average ining plot ninyo sa inyong graph okay kay uh, dili na per replicate average good siya sa per concentration in each insecticide okay so gets Tumana siya ang inyong ipakita ng results, ang graph sa inyo percentage mortality. Also. And then, here is another, the cyhalotrin pesticide. So, the same uh, procedure that we have um, uh, we have conducted from the Spen rate. So, you have, I will also uh, post this in the VSUE so that you can copy the table or the uh, the assumed data okay so i'll not dwell in that anymore because you know uh so these are uh this is the instruction for the uh submission of the laboratory exercise so you already know how to do this uh i will not dwell on that okay so that's it that's the last slide class how to uh make your lab report but before i will i will now stop share and share with you the uh video on how to gather your sweet potato with that okay so Just sent you the email with the client. Now. Doc now, but I think it's an older version. Can you send an update? Monica, check your messages when you can. There's something important in there. Oh, okay. 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 Can you see okay. now my screen class? So, atong bato Kini, ito binatang niya. So, funny class, how to speak with the weasel. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 Ano na siya ang Pheromone Plus? Open na to siya. Talawa ron. Limang lupa ni ron. Ano na siya? 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 Mahal <laughs> So, one is the one class and how to 
um, how does the sweet potato uh, weevil pheromone works? Okay, so uh, you also have to include that in your discussion in order for having that understanding. Okay, so um, I think uh, if you have any questions, you have do not do not hesitate to message me or chat in our group chat, the INBT One Five Two Laboratory um, group chat in the messenger, and then also. Um, you can also email me and you can also uh, post in the VSCEE what are your questions in order for me to answer, okay? So that I will answer it right away and then so that your mind have a clear understanding of how to do it, okay? So if you need further discussion about this, okay? So if there are, any, if there are no more questions, so... Um, I'll post this in the VSUE e class and of course I will set the deadline in the VSUE e for the submission of this lab report. This is exercise number five. You will have just an eight just eight exercises class for this so that the four remaining uh, lab reports will be uh, included in the uh, final exam. Okay. So thank you so much, class, for um, listening and uh watching for this video so i hope to see you soon and i hope that you are taking good care of your health and your family as well so thank you so much and god bless bye bye